What's up, dudes? Max here, um, and I uh, I'm back with a sort of unique video um, and an update that I got to give to to everybody. Uh, <clears throat> it's actually something that I've been putting off for a very uh, very long time, and it's something that I've wanted to come to terms with everybody. Um, and it's the fact that we lost Benny earlier this year. I wish I had the ability to to, to update everyone like as soon as it happened or immediately after, but I just don't think that myself or Jessica were in a position to um, receive sympathy for for quite a long time because the more I even grasp of being in this moment uh, talking to you all about this, it it gets more and more difficult to the, to the point where it's like, you know, nearly four o'clock in the morning on November 29th. And I'm just like, I, I'd love to do this eventually. I need to do this eventually. I have to do something about it. So, um, just as a just as a heads up, uh, we had an update about Benny's condition uh, back in 2019. Uh, this was before Ripley was even born. Uh, Benny was going through renal failure at a very he caught it very early on, um, literally due to him just acting weird. Uh, we took him to the vet and they gave us the bad news, but it was very early. Uh, the the result of that was not something that me or Jessica wanted to hear. And it was something that we kind of uh, had to be blunt with everybody. And we were just gonna try to do our best to make him as comfortable as possible. And we, we essentially did that. Uh, I, I was not, and even the doctors were pretty surprised that he got as far as he did. He essentially got like nearly three more years since that initial diagnosis, which was pretty, um, pretty grim. And he essentially lived through like an entire year and a half of Ripley's life. So very happy to know that uh, my little dude was there for my daughter, uh, at least in those very early years, um, just on like a personal level. And some things that I just have to say, because, you know, the pets that we have and the attachments we make to them are pretty unique. But like Benny to me and JJ was beyond a pet. Like I, I, I attest a lot of what, even my success on YouTube, the, the very fortunate situation that I'm in, uh, I, I feel like I owe him. Um, and we were there for him to the very end. I, I, I felt like I, he deserved that. He deserved not to be like afraid or continue to be in pain or anything like that when we essentially had to be there for him to say goodbye. And this is easily one of the most difficult things I've ever had to go through in my whole life, um, especially for myself and JJ. I'm sort of reliving a bit, a bit of it right now, and I, and I, it, it's, it's tough because you sort of shut that off and just remember the good stuff. But I will say, Benny as a cohort in this entire situation, Benny is like essentially, you know, my my friend slash like coworker, right? That that started this whole thing, uh, even though he is a dog, uh, is absolutely true, and how much. I owe him is um is is beyond kind of words I feel. I feel like literally I probably wouldn't be in this position if it wasn't for him being there for me. Like this is this was legit like a friend that that got me through severe anxiety issues um that I was presented with that I never thought of myself being a really anxious person back in the early 2010s. Um we've had Benny since 2009 uh before me and Jessica were even like married. And he was there through all of that. Like he was like quite literally, I would take him to places as like a, um, like not really a service dog, but like comfort that, you know, it would make me feel a lot better when I was had weird anxiety that happened for no reason. And I just felt like, you know, it, my whole body was falling apart for no reason. Benny kind of like funny enough has a weird attachment to fighting games in general, not just this channel. And he, he was there the same year that we got him the same year within a couple months after Street Fighter 4 came out, like the beginning of like the, the huge resurgence that is uh, fighting games just in general. Um, and it's funny is that he's, he's been around for that long. Like he's, he's actually been around since I was very first like making videos for, for YouTube and stuff like that when I was like just having fun with this stuff. He was always there. So I have this personal like attachment to him that he like, it was here all the way until like Street Fighter 6 practically. You know, he, he went that long from the games of like the early 20, the early 2000s all the way to here. 
And he was a big part of it because he was a starring character. I mean, this, th this dog was essentially a working actor. Um, and also was side by side by me in so many videos for so many years that it became a part of my personal branding. It became like, I really love the idea of like a dude and his dog playing fighting games online or, you know, being a part of like weird epic sagas of stuff happening in, in, a, in a living room with Marvel characters or assist me and stuff like that. I really appreciated that. I liked always having him be smarter than everybody else around because it was so funny. I always liked having him be this like shining beacon of knowledge uh, in moments and situations where the human characters would not know what to do. The dog was always the best and he would always like protect us in some unique or weird way in all of our shows. Uh, and he became a, a symbol. He became like an icon of, of this channel, of the Twitch channel. And I, I owe him a lot because a few people know this about me and I've, I've talked about it a few times that I'm just, especially like 10 plus years ago, um, just not a, a super social person. Like I would keep to my friend groups and public speaking, all that kind of stuff was very much like not me. But when it came to the point where I was not just making like assist me episodes anymore and being like a fictional character in a show kind of thing, you know, playing myself and what the hell does that even mean in a show and having to find a way to like make content, make this YouTube thing hopefully work. Uh, Benny was a huge part of that because he always acted as a natural buffer. He was like a barrier that if it wasn't me, like if my personality or if what I'm bringing to the table isn't fascinating enough, I literally have the cutest dog in the world, <laughs> you know? I literally have the, the, the sweetest, cutest dang puppy that will always look like a puppy um, next to me, and he talks, and he fights aliens and predators, and he does all this amazing stuff in our, in our wonderful little world that we built with him. And that's what I owe him, uh, and especially when it came to moments where I just didn't know how to, how to do things, if we were going to start turning this into a business or financial stuff, or if not sponsors. And the funniest thing is that Benny was always, always there for that. Benny was always like, I don't know what to do in this situation as far as like pitching this, this product or setting up a sponsorship moment. And it was always like, maybe if we just add Benny to it, you know, we can come up with a great idea. And weirdly enough, for like, I'm not even kidding you, like 10 years, that was the answer. <laughs> the answer was that we can just add Benny and make a gag around him or specifically have him be a character that saves us. Because that'll be great. It'll be so funny if he's the escape driver <laughs> in like Alien Assist Me or something. And I owe him so much because of that. Just in terms of me developing myself as much less a content creator or this profession that I've been very lucky to be blessed with for so many years now uh he was a huge component of that and allowed me and gave me an outlook to to fulfill a lot of these things and figure out what my personality like even is in this environment like how do you display something that is a personification of yourself while still being true to yourself while not like you know playing just a character at all times and you know benny's such a big he was such a big part of that, and I, I really owe him everything. So to everybody that's still watching this, to everybody that's been sticking around for a long time, um, I, I truly thank anybody that bought merch that featured Benny on it. I truly thank anybody that supported us through like those early 2013, 2014 days where if you subscribed, we'd give Benny treats on Twitch, or you know if you liked the videos and commented on some of the Benny-specific stuff that we did on YouTube. Um, there was a very healthy period of time after fighting history where he just didn't like cameras anymore. And he didn't like being in front of cameras and cell phones, which is one of the reasons why we did not want to keep bringing him to uh, events, why we did not want to keep filming shows with him as primary characters, just because he couldn't tolerate it much anymore. It just made him grumpy and unhappy. And there was a, a large myriad of, of health issues of why that was happening to the ultimate biggest health issue that he had which took him from us, um, that we would not have been able to keep him as healthy as we could, right? To be able to afford all of this stuff, literally giving like life-affirming care to a dog. 
Um, something that I know I know people in my position would, would have absolutely killed to be able to do, but financially would never be able to do that. We were able to do it for him because we've had support from people like you continually watching, buying merch, supporting what we do. So I do have to thank you guys for that. I really do. It gave us a lot more, a lot more time with Benny than uh, we were probably initially going to be given. Outside of that, I think the other person that loved Benny even more than me was, was Jessica. And you guys don't see the stuff that happens behind the camera, but Jessica put her heart and soul uh, into, into that dog and trained him and cared for him in, in all the ways that you know I might not have been able to because I was so focused on grinding the career stuff and always got him ready for roles and prepared him and trained him for these moments that we needed him to hit marks on in all these shows. Uh, she did all of that. You know, she was there with Ripley when she was young and also literally keeping Benny alive uh, for that time frame. And I was helping out as much as I possibly could while still doing all of this. I, I, I owe JJ everything. So if there's somebody, if there's something I can actually ask you all to do, if you've taken pictures with Benny, if you've had fan art, if you've had moments that you've liked with him, I would very much appreciate tagging myself and her on, on Twitter. Because at the, at the end of this entire thing, the, the message that I, that I have is that I just want to thank him. And that was the last thing I said to him before he passed on. He essentially had his whole life in our hands and gave everything to, to give us what we have right now and be a big part of it. So... Thanks, Benny. And thank you, everybody that's watching this. Uh, for anybody that might have questions regarding what's going to happen in the future, regarding branding of the channel or anything like that, I am not interested in immediately changing and just, you know, getting rid of his iconography or visual elements. Uh, I'm probably not going to be immediately doing that between Twitch emotes, if not things on YouTube and stuff like that. I'm not going to immediately be getting rid of that. I'm going to let that naturally take place as far as how I'd like to go forward and how some of those elements are presented. I prefer that he's still around in some way and it feels like the, the spirit of him uh, is still with us in, in either video format or, you know, through emotes on Twitch. I very much appreciate everybody sticking around for so long. You literally watched Benny almost through the entirety of his life uh, on this channel and Twitch. And you gave him uh, more than I ever thought we'd be able to give him. And, and as a result of that, he gave me and Jessica also everything. And I'll, I'll always be thankful for him.